So I had to do some deck repair here on a big old deck I've got back here. Nice fenced enclosure. I used to have a hot tub on this platform. But we got rid of that and put in this new pressure treated pine. There was problems with the construction of how that was made. But this area over here was done perfectly, made with the same pressure treated pine, whichever chemicals and stuff they put into it years ago. And I don't do a lot of deck upkeep back here. But as you can see, my main concern is I just soon not go out and buy new 16 foot boards. I'd like to try to make that side, which you can see just looks really not good at all look almost as good as this and I've looked at a lot of different deck cleaners and people all the name brand deck cleaners if you go on and read the reviews every single one of them people are down there in the reviews saying how horrible they are so I was looking and looking and looking and then I came up with this name of this stuff called um show it to you it's called I'll show you let me take a picture of this So that's sodium percarbonate, and you can find that. You can buy it either generically or you can find it in this OxyClean. And the way you're supposed to mix it is two cups per gallon, which turns out to be, I'm going to do just a little test here. They say you should always test this on the board, so I'm going to show you guys the test um, on a small area. This is a board that I took off of this side. and let's. Do a test and what i've done is i've wet this board down they say you're supposed to do that so the chemicals don't absorb into the wood too deep and for deck cleaning you're supposed to use two cups per gallon and that turns out to be four tablespoons per two cups so let's put this in here and you're supposed to put it into warm water, they say. So I've got two cups of warm water there. And we'll stir it around. And I found this, I think this is weighs one. This weighs one point, one and three quarters pounds. I think I found that for four bucks. And you can buy three pounds for six dollars or something. And you can buy five pounds for like nine dollars at the local store. Or you can go online if you can find a generic manufacturer of that stuff for about 250 a pound is what you're looking at. So you're supposed to let this dissolve in here for five minutes. Can you see where it's kind of fuzzly at the top? But it's got some, they say it takes about five minutes for all those granules to finally get dissolved. And they say some of the granules never get dissolved, which is why if this works, I'll make another video to where I'm going to do the whole deck back here. I'm fairly optimistic that this is going to work, actually. Better than spending $20 for one gallon of pre-mixed stuff you just spray on. Um, a long time ago, I did buy that, some pre-mixed stuff, and I was very amazed at how well it works. But now I've learned a lot of things about... Um, chlorine, bleach, and other weird chemicals that these have in it. And of course it bleaches the wood and makes it look good for 10 minutes. But then within really soon afterwards, it, uh, it, the woods, it actually damaged the wood and it makes it worse. So once you, you pour this in here, you do have to use this. The reason it comes in a powder and not pre-mixed is you have to use this stuff pretty quick. And actually, what sodium percarbonate means is there's also something called sodium carbonate. And the per, P-E-R, is the peroxide, as in hydrogen peroxide, that they have blended somehow or another or combined with the carbonate. So it's per carbonate, sodium per carbonate. And when this mixes with hot water, it releases the peroxide. So you're actually dumping hydrogen peroxide on here. I've seen some people say you can just mix water with hydrogen peroxide and make this, but I'm not going to trust that. I'm just going to use this method here. And you know what? 
I'm ready to dump this on. So, what I'm gonna do is just dump. And I do have a sprayer that when I do the whole deck, I'm gonna spray it on. Or here, I'm just gonna do it on this test. Just like this. And boy, you can see it lighten up there a little bit. Maybe I only needed one water. Okay, and we'll get the we'll get the soap bubbles out of here too. And they say what you want to do is let this stuff work. So I'll go in and rinse my cup out, and we'll let this sit on here for five minutes or so. It's been sitting there for two or three minutes. Okay. And I did buy this thing here. It's an unscrewable brush. And I was thinking the plan would be to not brush half of this test area. So let's, this area here. Oh boy, look at the dirt. You can see that the water is dirty. So I'm going to kind of brush half of this. this boy that is just you can really see that that's pretty filthy let me pull my board out a little bit so my nice part of the deck doesn't get messed up there I had scrubbed that a little bit let's come back and Grab it some more. Yuck. Boy, it's just turned up. That's just turned to mush. I guess on that end, I'm going to try to do it with no scrubbing at all. Okay. So now I'm going to rinse this off and see how that works. And I'm not using a pressure washer. In fact, I'm using a junky hose. So. This is going to take two hands, but you see what I'm doing. Let me get the, I need to brush this. And in the end, after running water over it and using my brush to brush down, that's what it looks like. So I suppose we're going to have to let it dry overnight. Let me. this so it'll dry nicely draining down and this is a test board that I'm probably never going to use again and I'll come back tomorrow and show you what it looks like half hour later I'm going to lay this board out where it gets some sun in the morning here is not cleaned at all here's part where I dumped the sodium percarbonate on and scrubbed it still wet and down on this end is where I dumped the sodium percarbonate on, but did not scrub it. So I think even just before it's even dry, you can say it's obvious you have to scrub. So when I did the spray here, and you can see kind of, I don't know how many years ago it was, I just bought some of the pre-mixed stuff, and I did mainly the deck board, but you can see where I oversprayed up onto the fence a little bit, and I was going to come back and do it, but I never did that that color difference where it's lighter at the bottom was that was stuff I sprayed on and didn't have to touch it. I just sprayed it on and rin and two minutes later rinsed it off. And that's the stuff they say is too harsh for decks. It's not good for it. But the good part is you spray that stuff on, you don't have to scrub it. But they say this stuff is better for the environment. And um, let's see how good it looks once it dries. But boy, you can just, before it's even dry, you can really see the difference so we'll be back tomorrow and there's the board I did yesterday now dry here's the part on this end where I did the experiment where I just dumped the sodium percarbonate on ran into the spot where I dumped it on and scrubbed just dumped on 
dumped on and scrubbed. And here's what it looks like down on this end where I didn't do anything to it. And that's what this whole part of the deck looks like. So, I kind of like it to be a little bit lighter than that. But I think that this will darken and those two will merge better. So, right now, my plan is to do that whole side of the deck. So I've got to move all that wood. I'll put it over there for the time being. Maybe I'll reuse it, but that before scrubbed.